Hey guys, got a little problem with the truck today. Um, if you look there at the voltage meter or amperage meter, um, you'll notice that the uh, gauge is low. It should be a little bit above 14, um, and it's probably what nine or 10. If I drive quarter, half mile, it's going to drop off completely. So just hang out with me for just a moment, and you'll see it drop it drop down. Uh, just completely drop when um, my check gauge's light will come on. There it goes. So we're going to get back to the house. I've gone to the parts house already and picked up what I need to rectify the problem, but uh, wanted you guys to see what I'm working with. So when I saw that gauge drop like it did and the check gauges like come on, that's what I thought the problem was and this could be. Um, but I did some research because um, you, you guys may know um, these diesel trucks, they frequently have two batteries, one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. And so I was doing some research and what I found was you could take some jumper cables and take your positive lead from the driver's side to the positive lead on the passenger side. Um, and if that corrects your um, gauge reading, um, most likely your problem is not the alternator, but it's this wire that connects from, again, the passenger side to the driver's side. Um, and so when this happened the other day, um, I did open the hood. I looked out, and you guys can see here, I still have quite a bit of corrosion. Um, and that was very mild compared to what it was. And I had hoped I had cleaned it off enough that it would work. Um, I don't think there's any hope to bring in that back. You can see here with all this discoloration, this battery has been getting overcharged. It's not sending the charge back to the driver's side like it should um, so i went to the local parts house after i diagnosed the problem or and um, this cable is something that is not stocked at the parts house i figured it would be but it's not um, but they were able to make this for me um, it really it was very inexpensive i thought for for what it is um, it ended up only being like 35 bucks, um, you know, looking at online where they make them and whatnot, they're, they're a hundred bucks a piece. So, um, my local parts house was able to save me there. Um, when I go through, um, taking these things off, uh, I'm not going to go through the hassle of talking about what tools I used because this is clearly aftermarket. It's, it's, it's not stock. It was already, um, patched up once. Uh, so we're going to, um, we're just going to go ahead and replace this whole wire. So again, it goes from the passenger side under the breather box up and it's, it's in this loom here over the radiator and then back over to the driver's side of the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, set this aside. I'll pull it off here. I'll pull it off there. I'll take the wire loom and everything out, put the new wire through the loom, plug it up and that should fix our problem. As I took this bolt off, guys, this bolt is supposed to unscrew from the bottom portion of that battery cable connector or whatever it came completely out so I'm sure that that was also preventing a good connection again to overcharge this battery and keep power from going to the driver's side so I'm going to go and find what I need to get that bolt off get rid of this guy clean up that terminal again and hopefully we'll be in good business
But looking at the two wires side by side, it looks like the one I picked up from the parts house might not be quite as thick, but um, the length is, is pretty close to the same. Uh, I stripped the loom off the old wire, as you can see. I'm going to add it to the new wire, and then I'm going to hook it up to the truck. wire installed this is the passenger side cleaned up that post with a wire brush uh, made sure all the corrosion was walked away and uh, got all the connections as it should be um, again goes under the air box up over the radiator and then down and then over to the driver's side everything appears to be in order so now we'll go and start the truck and hope our problem is solved all right here goes nothing it definitely sounded better when we started it and it's on the rise that is wonderful so I think we'll just take it for a quick ride make sure everything stays like it should uh, I have no reason to think it won't but we're gonna do it so I'm about to go through the curve where it would normally drop out but I'm still sitting just above 14 as it normally would so I, I really don't expect it to drop out and right about here is where it goes ding Guys, I think we got it done. <clears throat> I am a little bit uh, worried about the battery, however. Um, that battery had been getting overcharged who knows how long. I don't know what kind of damage it's done to it, so um, I may be needing to replace that. If you guys have any recommendations as to if I should just go ahead and replace it, wait and see what happens, um, any feedback you guys have would be great. Um, we're back home and sitting right at 14 just a hair above um, like it should be um, go under the hood and just make sure everything looks good there our problem on the old Dodge and I appreciate you guys coming for the ride have a good day